The backswing is a shoulder move. Not your hips or your legs, your shoulder. When you start your backswing, you should start it with your shoulders. In fact, the entire backswing should be driven by your shoulders, not your legs, not your hips, and certainly not your arms. What you want to do, and I'm going to demo this pot so you can see it clearly, you just want to turn your shoulders and let them drag everything else around. What that means is at the top of your backswing, you'll be nice and tight and taut. There won't be any slack in your body. So as soon as I move my feet, my shoulders have to move. Now what happens if I do the backswing with my legs? Legs and hips. So I'm using my legs and hips to turn the backswing. That's great. But notice when I start the downswing, look at that slack that's in my hips. I can turn the back, I can turn down, turn my feet and hips forward, which is my first move on the downswing. And my shoulders don't do anything because there's slack in my shoulders. Now compare that to if I start with my shoulders and drag them around. Now I move my feet, my shoulders immediately move. Now that downswing move I just made was done completely with my feet. I didn't even use my hips in it. It's just a foot move. Notice how tight that was. There was no slack. My feet or my hips and my sh shoulders. As soon as I moved my feet, my shoulders turn because everything was nice and tight. And the way you get there is you start your back turn with your shoulders. Your shoulders or your back turn is a shoulder move. Turn with your shoulders. Now I'm just going to move my feet. Notice no slack. When I do when I do the back turn with my hips, now I turn my feet, lots of slack in there. You don't want any slack at your top of the backswing position, that's just a power leak. Mm -hmm.